Nigel John Madden at Navarro Beach, outside of Vega. I made my escape, having made my escape on Wednesday from El Diamante to Vega. Today I made my escape from Vega out to the beach, which was perfect. I'm really very happy out here. Beautiful woods. I've been warned about mosquitoes up here. So far, not the case. And there's a lovely breeze blowing. I've got a hunch unless the breeze block drops off, I'm fine. Then I made my escape from that little corner back there where a family came in and they were having a big family party. And suddenly it went from being my escape, my alone place out here, to really crowded. Now the driving through this woods, I am uh, somewhat vision impaired talk about that somewhere else but I am so all these trees look alike how to find a path through the trees way down here where there had been a motorcycle and I kind of willed for them to leave and they left leaving this great spot and I had a little mishap with a tree but no no serious damage was done to the car or the tree and I got myself there and there are various people who would not want to be my passengers but that's all right Earlier this afternoon, there was a big lagoon back there. Really great swimming, not perfect swimming. It's almost too warm, it's like a bathtub. And pretty shallow. Only at the end did I get, I never got to a place where I could not touch the bottom. But it was warm and salty and I floated, 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 and I loved that. And there were some shorebirds, this is not seeming like primo shorebirds place, not like Galveston or South Padre Island, but it's nice to see him again. And I'm at the beach. I'm happy. And it's day five of no food because we ran out of money. And day, first day of absolutely no cigarettes because I did use my last dollar, my last 90 pesos, not for food, but for cigarettes. And I don't regret it for a minute. And they were both going to run out anyway. So I've got another 11 days, and I've fasted a lot longer than that. And we've got lots of water and enough gas to run back down the road. I discovered that the one little beach restaurant was easy to get water. So I don't have to go all the way back into town to get water. And we've got a lot of water. And I did a whole lot of patrolling of this, this site. You would, not like, you would not have liked it before. But I did a whole lot of patrolling and a lot of cleaning of my windows of the car so I can have a better view And now that I'm out of the city. Yeah, and two days ago I washed and waxed the car. Yeah, because my car is back. It's got a new beating heart, new engine, new lease on life. And we got out of El Diamante and I've been, I've been in celebratory mode. I miss things back there. I was there three months. Mostly I miss the dogs three dogs that I got awful tight with. And they say you feel especially close to dogs because you touch them a lot. And for me, since the COVID, there's really been very, very little touch in my life. And the dogs were great. And at the last minute, I had a little monster crush on one of the shopkeepers just down the road from the Coppel store. Made a couple of videos about her and went by this morning and there was no spark from her she had watched a couple of my videos and i didn't see a spark and she said she'd be free in two hours and i said yes and then i said no 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 i'm going to the beach i'm not gonna hang around for two hours for somebody who's not giving me a spark no freedom i did a whole thing about sirens i'll link you to my video about sirens us guys get so hooked on our women in ways that are often not good for us. And she's not a bad girl, she's fine, she's really cool. But getting hooked on her would be really bad for me. Really bad for me, yeah. yeah. Okay, from Navarro Beach, which I'm sure Elia thinks is dangerous. I'm sure all kinds of people think is dangerous. Take a look at this. It's looking dangerous to you folks. Not to me at all.